Hi, look at this question. They're saying, what is the circumference of this circle? U 3.14, 4 pi. So looking at the figure here, you can see that the, the x-axis is oriented by 1, 2, 3, 4, while the y-axis is oriented by A, B, C, D. So now we have to find the radius of this circle. What is the radius of this circle? Based on the formula, you know that the circumference is equal to 2 pi r, so we can write c is equal to 2 times pi times r. So we need the radius. So how much is the radius here? You can see that this is the center here, and we can count the radius. It is only one unit, so the radius is equal to 1. So we can write here r is equal to 1, and we can substitute it in the formula. Then we have circumference is equal to 2 times pi times 1, and they said use 3.144 pi, so we write equals to 2 times 3.14 times 1, and finally by calculator you get the answer as 6.28. And as you can see that this is a basic question, but you need to solve it to get to the advanced questions and achieving let's say 1200, 1300 and more. Let's go for a little more advanced questions. Here they are saying find f of i given the equations below f of x equal to 3x cubed plus x, while i is equal to radical minus 1. Now, regarding i equal to radical minus 1, it's not going to affect this question if you want to find f of i, so only you need to replace i instead of x. So we write f of i is equal 3 into i, i to the power 3 plus i. And simplify this by calculator, you can get equals to you can write all the expression by the calculator, 3i cubed plus 1, and you get minus 2i. If you want to solve it manually, you know that every i squared is equal to minus 1, and to get i cubed, so multiply i squared by i, you get i cubed, which is equal to minus 1 times i, which is equal to minus i. So f of i is going to be equal to 3 into i cubed, which is minus i, plus i, you get minus 3i plus i, which is equal to minus 2i, and this is the same answer. They said here, it takes a bricklayer 3 hours and 48 minutes to lay 589 bricks. How many minutes will it take him to lay 1,302 bricks? Now, this is a proportion question, by the way, but you have to take care of the hours and minutes here, because they are asking you how many minutes. So we need to change the three hours to minutes, so three hours. You know, every one hour is 60 minutes, so three hours is 180 minutes. And now let's design the question. They said it takes a bricklayer three hours, so this is the time. They said three hours and 48 minutes, so 180 minutes and 48 minutes is 228 minutes, so 228 minutes to lay 589 bricks. So we write the bricks here. Now they are asking how many minutes will it take him to lay 1302? So we write equal and we write fraction. And they are asking how many minutes? So x is the minutes, so the time is x. And the bricks is 1302. So then it becomes a proportion. And you can solve this type of question by saying x is equal. 228 multiplied by 1302 over 589 or you can do it by calculator by using the shift solve method or cross multiplication and you get the final answer as 504. So you need 504 minutes to lay 1302 bricks. Look at that question. They said a bag contains three white balls and seven yellow balls. Three balls are drawn one at a time from the bag without replacement. Look at that word. Without replacement is very important. What is the probability that they are all yellow? So let's write the given. We have white balls. So white we have three. And yellow balls we have seven. And the total is going to be equal to ten. So they are saying that Three balls are drawn one at a time. So we take first ball, then the second ball, then the third ball. So for the first ball to be yellow, they said, what is the probability that they are all yellow? So the first ball we need it to be yellow, the second we need it to be yellow, and the third we need it to be yellow. Like as if you're saying yellow, yellow, yellow. So now let's find out if we take out one ball from the 
box, if we have box here, let's say, what is the probability to get a yellow ball? So we have total seven yellow balls and the total number of balls in the box are 10. So the probability of the first one to be yellow is seven out of 10. Remember that they mentioned the question without replacement. So when you take a ball out of the box, you don't return it back. So what is the total number of balls becomes nine. So what, what is the total number of ball now? We have finally nine balls. Okay, so the first ball we took also it's yellow. So that number of total yellow balls becomes six. So if we are gonna take another ball from the box and we want it to be yellow, so what's the probability of get this ball yellow? It is six out of nine because the total number of balls is nine and the total number of yellow balls is six. What about the third one? So now seven yellow balls become six and then now six yellow balls becomes five. So the third one is gonna be five over. The total number of balls becomes also eight. So it's five over eight and we multiply those together we get the final answer. Do it by calculator and you get seven out of 24. Just to complete the idea here, remember if they say with the replacement, which means that you have to return the ball to the box and find the probability of getting the other ball. So when you return it to the box, the total number stays 10 then. And the one which is under your favorite choice, let's say yellow, also becomes the total seven again. So with the replacement, it becomes seven over 10 times seven over 10 times seven over 10. And you will find the answer, but this is not our question here. And what about if they want the first one to be yellow, the second one to be white, and the third one to be white. So the first one is yellow, it's seven out of 10. So we say seven out of 10 multiplied by the second one to be white. Now the white are still the same, which is three. So we say three out of, but the total number changed now. Changed to be nine, so we say three over nine times. The third one to be white, already we took one from the white, so the total number becomes two, and the total number of balls becomes eight, so it becomes two over eight. I think this makes the question more clear, and if you need any more idea about probability, you can go for the channel and look at the probability videos. It has all the details about the probability.